Well, happy Thursday to you. I hope you're doing great today and good morning to you. You know, many years ago, I, when I was um, traveling, preaching more at different places, I, you know, I, I, I learned right quick that I didn't really want to be a carbon copy of somebody else. I, I wanted to have some originality. And um, that came at a very timely and very formative point in my life about 25 years ago when I was thinking, you know, who am I? Who is it that I really want to be? Who is it that Tony looks like as a minister? What is Tony's potential? What is Tony's gift look like? And as I began to think on those lines, I, I, I began to question, you know, what these, what the answers were to, to uh, the questions that I had about my own self. And I was trying um, to look around and, and see mentors. I, I remember very vividly listening to different people and I would glean a lot from a lot of different people. And I seen people, I seen goods and bads and I, and I, and I, I was at a point where I really didn't know who to really channel my life to, after. But the whole time, never stopping to say, God, who am I? Who am, who am I? Not who do I want to be like, but who am I? Who have you called me to be, God? And I want to give you per permission today. I want to give you permission to seek God today for yourself. It's all right to have mentors, and I have many of them. I've had some of the greatest and the best. And at any point in time in my life, I have great mentors. It's all right to learn from them. It's all right to glean from them. It's all right to have someone to sharpen your skill set. Uh, Proverbs says iron sharpens iron as one man sharpens another. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about authentically living who you are and being just that because you are are only going to be a copy of anybody else unless you just be yourself. And if you'll be yourself, you'll be the last you. You'll live it. God's got something very special for you because he created you with that something special in mind. So with that thought in mind, be the best you can be. I love you. See you tomorrow.